Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Alright guys, so today is just going to be a mineral slash supply gathering episode, as um, we're actually needing more wood to gather our stuff um, to start, you know, to decorate our base with and uh, to use as supplies. So I actually have, uh, I have some obsidian here with a flint and steel, and we're going to head into the nether to grab more nether brick because I actually like this the look of nether brick and um, kind of need more for my base so we're gonna go collect a couple more nether brick stuff I'm gonna also collect more wood I'm gonna try to make this all wood here and then try to figure out some intricate pattern to put on the wall so planning on doing that and uh, so yeah let's I have a home set somewhere in the woods and hopefully I can get like three or four stacks of, um, I cannot tell, there we go. Hopefully hopefully I can get like three or four stacks while I'm falling through. Hopefully I can get three or four stacks of this spruce wood before, um, let's see, before this video ends. Um, Insanity is not with us today guys because he is still sleeping. I'm recording early in the morning just to get a video out before uh, the week actually starts. So what the heck is wrong with this? Why can't I pick it up? There we go. So fa so yeah, uh, factions red and factions blue are currently down. Um, our server managers are away this weekend, and they had to be put down due to security reasons. So if you guys are wondering why those are down, those that's exactly why it's down. It's because um, we're having a couple of server problems, but should be solved by Monday or even by tonight. So. There's no, there's no uh, point in uh, being too worried about that. But yeah, um, I don't really know what, what else to, to video for you guys. Like, uh, what, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Like, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to just keep, you know, shooting these uh, factions. Let's play. Should I go into another series? I might actually get back into a lot of Sky Wars videos because uh, Sky Wars is pretty fun and I love playing Sky Wars so the next video I upload will probably be something that has to do with uh, Sky Wars or maybe even rank up um, I don't really have anything uh, planned as to what we have to do next um, we're, pro we're planning on building a potion room inside our base like an automatic potion room and we might be shooting that or we'll just do it and then show you guys how to build the actual potion stands after the video because it's a little bit easier to explain after everything's been built already so um, I'll show you I'll show you the main mechanisms of that um, I actually didn't learn how to do the potion but um like the potion the automatic potion room but one of our faction allies taught my brother and then my brother is probably just gonna end up teaching me later on on how to make it so there's one stack of wood Let's see if we can get one more or no, like another two stacks. Cause I gotta fill up that wall over there. I like the texture of spruce wood a lot, cause it's like a lot darker. So like in like, it contrasts very well with the nether brick and then the normal, the normal logs that you get from cutting normal trees. So I like having like a variety of colors in a base, cause I don't, I don't know, it just makes it look more clean, makes it look more organized. And if you're into that organization as much as I am, you know, the spruce wood, just look for like a snow biome with a bunch of trees and you'll end up finding some spruce wood. This is actually near Warp Wild on uh, MCMMO. So if you guys need some spruce wood, just teleport over there and uh, you'll you'll get some, uh, you'll grab a couple of stacks and then you guys can start building. Um, our iron golem farm is halfway complete. I actually have another like 300,000 or no, I think I have another 500,000 from blaze farming yesterday. So I'll be able to buy another one or two iron golem spawners at the end of this video. Um, I was fishing all of last night. Well, not really all of last night, but a couple of hours yesterday. And I got a couple pieces of uh, diamond protection armor. I'll show you guys that in a little bit if I remember to. And I'll show you guys what you can be getting from fishing. Fishing is a very worthwhile skill, guys. Take the take the time to level that up to 600, and it'll it'll all it'll just pay off in like not even overnight. It'll pay off in like a day or two. Like it's very much worth it to get your fishing level up on MCMMO because it's basically free protection armor. 
It looks like there's a there's a temple over there. These chunks aren't loading. It looks like I'm lagging. There's a temple over there, but it looks like it's already been raided, so I'm not even going to waste my time going over there. Let's grab this one. I'm going to grab one more stack. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so uh, what videos do you guys want to see? Like, I need to see it in the comments. Like, do you guys want just PvP-based videos? Because, you know, I can only PvP on MCMMO um, during certain times and certain days because that's when most people are on PvP. Because um, a lot of people on here actually focus on building a strong base before they go out and PvP all the time because... Um, you know, PvPing is fun, but if you're doing it in crappy armor, if you're doing it in weak armor, and then you're just getting killed all the time, it's no fun in doing that. So, for all the you non-donators out there who can't really, uh, who can't really, uh, what's it called, get the good armor, like get the god armor from the, your kits, you know, this is why, that's the re main reason why a lot of people actually just uh, make a big base first, get a good farm going, that's why people do that because they, they they need a way to make the money for uh they need a way to make the money for the, the, all their strong armor and stuff and like even even a small zombie or skeleton farm will help with uh you know XP grinding just getting all those strong level enchants. So almost done with this stack. Oh, actually, I, this should be good for now. So I'm gonna run over here. I'm. I want to grab like another stack or two of nether brick because we use that a lot. And then I'll just make a random nether portal in the desert over here. Let's do it. Look, there's like random spruce wood here. So I think the nether portal is. Oh, I need a flint and steel. Let me make one real quick. Need a crafting table. Put that there. Don't need that anymore. So crafting table down. Let's make a flint and steel. So there's that. Then it's, I think it's like one. Oh god, I already messed up. Let's see. Ah, it's lagging back. No, there you go. All right, I think it's like one, two, and then you gotta go like up two. I think one more. Oh man, I did not think this through. Put this here. Jump on top of this. Does that look right? I think there's one, two, three. I think that's right. Yeah, that looks right. And then I just take a flint and steel and I start it. There we go. To the nether we go. Let's see if we can find another blaze spawner while we're in here. Ooh, it looks like a lot of people have been here already. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, I see it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Ender Pearl. Ender Pearl. Oh, all that time's just wasted. Am I lagging? I think I'm lagging. Oh my god. Where's Where am I? Oh my god. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. I, I might have to eat a god apple if I don't live. <laughs> come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Go. Go. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. How did I live? Um, that was that lava killed me really slowly that was that was a stupid mistake I'm just gonna eat a god apple so I can heal up what the heck was that I, I started up there and I just failed and <laughs> fell into the lava <laughs> oh that's embarrassing okay I think the nether fortress is that way yeah I see it in the distance let's go this way that was nearly that was that was scary I nearly died right there um, alright, so here's another, yeah, this looks like this nether fortress has already been raided, so I won't be able to find any blaze spawners here, but I'm gonna get another, I can get a couple of stacks of, uh, let me get some building blocks real quick, I can get a couple of stacks of, uh, nether bricks here that we can use to, that we can use to decorate our house with, so I'm gonna get a stack of this, this is a little boring guys, you know, but, it's part of it's part of factions. It's part of these let's plays, you know, getting the materials you need to. Uh, 
Oh, look at all this block lag. That's probably why I survived very easily because of this block lag. But yeah, so these collection videos, you know, they're part of your faction's let's play. You know, they're part of the faction's world. You know, you don't just get materials magically. You have to actually take the time and uh, collect some materials while you're playing factions. To, you know, build your base, make it stronger. I think there's a per. Is that a person? Maybe I'm tweaking. Well, I have potions ready in case I get attacked or jumped or something. I've got some god apples, so I'm ready if they if they decide to try to jump me. I wish insanity was here. I think he's probably gonna wake up in a little bit. Look at this it's block lagging. Oh my gosh. Uh, da, da, da. So. Um, after we complete our iron golem farm, we might actually invest in a big pigman farm, like a pig, big pigman spawner farm. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll pause this video and then restart it once this block lag goes away. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, we are back. I think the lag has finally subsided a little bit so we can continue our supply gathering mission over here. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, we're planning, we might do a big, uh, pigman, pigman, uh, grinder. Not really a grinder, but a pigman, um, sort of something. Excuse me. <coughs> we, we might make a pigman, like, a dropper sort of thing, where, um, a pigman, we have a bunch of pigman spawners, and they drop the 23 blocks until they're one hit. So we might make one of those farms so that we have, um, a source for god apples other than fishing. Um, that... A, a pigment spawner does cost a lot, I'm pretty sure. I've, I've almost two stacks of this now, guys. I'm, I'm going to get three stacks and then we'll get out of here. So yeah, a, a pigment spawner is actually pretty expensive. I think it's a little bit more expensive than an iron golem. I think it's like 500000 I'll go to Warp Shop real quick and check the price of that. But, you know, it's going to be one of those things. It's going to be like a long-term project. We'll probably finish like a big farm in like a week or so. So we'll be farming up the money for that. Uh, once we start getting more armor, we're actually I'm actually w excited. I, I want a PvP because that's what you guys like to watch. You guys like to watch the the PvP strategies that people use and uh, You know, I might actually warm up later in a couple other videos I'll probably do another um, rank up video because rank up is really fun I was playing that all last night with a couple of the trial mods on rank up and uh, it was really fun You know a lot of people start chasing me now because I have the admin tag and you have a different colored name and people just start chasing you so it's a little hard but I did get the nuke last night which is kind of surprising I got it on my third try I, I died a couple times but then a couple of the helpers decided to team up with me and then they just protected me while I regen half the time <laughs> but yeah um, so there's there's four stacks in another brick that should be good for the meantime let's go warp shop real quick and figure out how much these spawners cost so when we when we plan out our base so yeah pigment spawners are 500,000 so they are a little bit more expensive than the iron golem spawners which are 300,000 um, oh this reminds me we are probably gonna uh, th that'll probably be so something I do so next weekend I'll be building a enderman grinder in the end so uh, get ready for that. I'm probably gonna have it built already, but I'm gonna basically show you how to build it step by step. And then after you get to a certain level on the Enderman Grinder, it's basically just repeating the same pattern over and over again. So it's not it's not very hard. It's just very time consuming, and you just need a lot of. Um, hold on, let me change this guy's nickname. A lot of. You need a lot of supplies, basically, like a lot of cobblestone, a lot of brick, in order to actually make the farm, because the farm does get pretty big. You need a lot of pistons, you need a lot of pressure plates, so you're going to need a lot of um, materials to actually build that farm. So let's go whoa, F home. Alright, so let's go home. I'm gonna actually show this part on camera real quick. So, oh, before I, before I build that wall filled with spruce wood, so I was fishing last night and you know all these chests were filled when I got back but like the only good part of it like the only good armor or whatever you want to call it from that entire uh, section was I got a couple prot 3 pieces prot 3 prot 1 prot 3 leggings prot 2 boots prot 3 what is that legs and prot 2 chest plates so I'm probably gonna get a couple levels on the blaze spawner and repair those later on 
Uh, so that's that's part of my future plans. Again, I could pr I could finish that pretty fast because the blaze the blaze are such fast experience. It's amazing how much uh, it's amazing how much experience uh, you can get from those blaze farms. But um, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna cover this wall first. I might just mine out this cobble. Uh, this, is, this is gonna take too long. So yeah, this is my this is the back part of my blaze spawner over here. Um, should I? Yeah, I want more room. Slowly mine this out. Insanity spent a lot of time collecting obsidian, so we have almost our entire base filled with obsidian to a certain level. I don't think it's like maxed yet. Like we're missing a couple of corners, but we'll we'll probably fix that soon. Spend some time uh, getting more, getting more. Oh man, I wasted this. Spend some time getting more freaking obsidian. It takes so long. I wish, I wish the owners didn't decide to freaking uh, remove it from the shop because you know getting money is really easy on MCMMO, and since since we can't we can't buy it from the shop anymore, it's really hard to actually. Uh, it's really hard to actually collect that stuff. So it takes a lot of time, but you know I think it's very it's, I think it's worth it to be uh, actually mining or to be to have to spend the time to have a strong base. So like if you want a strong base, you actually have to commit some time into doing so because if you don't, then you know you could build your you you could build your base out of cobble, you could build it out of bricks, but you know an obsidian base is the strongest and uh, make gives people the hardest time. You know as long as you know how to do your anti cannon uh setups you know like the with the sand barriers I, I might actually do an episode on that on how to make like different s types of sand barriers on the outside of your base to make it like um hybrid cannon proof but there's a lot that goes into raiding or like anti-raiding uh essentials so that, that that'll probably be its own video in the future yeah, i don't really want to finish this for in front of you guys because it's a little boring placing blocks but uh, this is the potion room that Insanity will be making. So this machine right here will be going all the way down to that wall with different potions. We'll show you guys how to do that in an another episode. I didn't want to make this episode too long, guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this video, if you want me to do a certain type of farm, a certain tutorial, leave a comment in the comment section because I read those like every other day. I'll take a peek at the comment section see what you guys are saying about the videos. Um, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. As always, I am Dfield, and uh, we will see you guys later.